Hey everyone, Gage here with Pickleball Effect, and today I'm here with the Advantage Blackout Series by ProXR. This is the 14 millimeter version. They also offer a 16 millimeter version. We've been seeing these paddles everywhere. I'm assuming you all have too, so we figured it's about time to give it a review. Big thing with ProXR is the slanted handle. It's supposed to fit in your palm really well, so yeah, I've been playing with it for about two weeks, and here's my thoughts. When you're looking at the specs of the paddle, there really isn't anything special other than its curved handle. It seems like they took their idea of the curved handle and put it on a generic paddle design. It has a 14 millimeter polymer core and a fiberglass face. It's an elongated shape, it's 16.5 inches, and 5.5 of those inches are in the handle. I like that they gave it a longer handle. That's the trend these days, and I'm all for it. I imagine you're probably most interested in how the slanted handle feels, so let's talk about that first. ProXR claims that the unique handle shape is supposed to optimize your hand's connection to the paddle to create quicker reload, increased spin, and added control. I didn't notice any difference in spin or feel like I had any additional control, but I did notice a difference in reload time. I thought the grip helped me bring my paddle back into position a little bit quicker so I was always ready to strike. Though I think it helped with my hand speed and my volleys felt strong, there were two main drawbacks for me about the handle that are keeping me from praising it. One, it felt awkward rolling the ball or flicking it while at the net. As someone who likes to use my wrists a lot while playing, I struggled to adjust or loosen my grip as needed and couldn't hit those shots as well as I could with a normal grip shape. Second, the handle has a foreign feeling in your hands that is hard to get used to. I'm sure I'd get used to it if I really committed to it and played with the paddle for a long time, but as someone with a tennis background, it didn't really feel comfortable in my hand. Talking about attacking with the paddle, the combination of the thinner core, fiberglass face, elongated shape, and longer handle gave the paddle lots of pop. I wouldn't quite put it in the power category because it doesn't give you as much power as say an Electrum Pro 2 or Engage Pursuit, but it wasn't far off. Its shape and pop made it easy to drive and I scored more points from the baseline because of it. However, it wasn't as forgiving as I was hoping, so if you didn't hit the center of the paddle, then you didn't get all the power it offered. Every time I hit the ball near the edge of the paddle, it felt dead. I know ProXR offers some thicker versions of this paddle, and I assume that those models are more forgiving around the edges. I didn't really notice anything special as far as spin goes. It didn't have any more spin than my old Ben Johns Franklin paddle, which was also made of a fiberglass face. The soft game with this paddle wasn't bad, but it also wasn't anything too special. As I mentioned before, the paddle has solid pop, but it really wasn't too hard to control. I popped up a few resets and dinks in the beginning, but after the first few days playing with it, I felt dialed in. As long as I caught the ball in the center of the paddle, I was good to go, but the tighter sweet spot made me less consistent overall. Here's my recommendation. I think a Pro XR handle would be good for someone new to the sport that doesn't have a tennis background. I think the grip would help that person feel quick at the net and give them strong grip on the paddle. But if you're used to a standard grip, then the unique handle shape is much harder to adjust to. As far as the rest of the paddle goes, I didn't think it felt or performed exceptionally well anywhere, though it did feel like quality material and seemed like it was built well. But when you look at the price tag of $210, I personally think it's difficult to justify that price for what you get. That's all I have for you today. Hope it helps.